Hey, what is going on guys? So what have I been doing for the past two days? Well, I have been doing fire making. I have had a lot of time to just AFK something. You know what? I need 99 in all skills in the future anyways. That is the final goal I want to reach. And you know, I had like 79 or maybe I had 80 fire making. I can't really remember. We're actually going to be hitting 90 fire making. And I'm going to show you guys how many logs I've been using. So this is going to be 90 fire making. That's another 90s. We have 90 cooking and 90 fire making. You know, it's always really, really good to actually hit 99 in any skill really. Because then you can block that daily. Because fire making daily is not something you really want to be looking out for. So... You know, and if I do hit 99, I can block that and I can get, you know, maybe herb lore assignments or something like that. But I started off on like 13,000 U logs. I've used about 3,000 of those and I have used 10,000 magic logs. So for the past days, I've been using like, I don't know, 13,000, 12,000 logs and burned them all. We got about 10 levels for that. So that is not too bad. I don't have 99 banked. But not that far off, actually, so we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. On these first kills I'm going to be doing, I'm actually going to be hitting 98 defense, so that's going to be pretty sweet. So let's see what the first loot is. We get some herbs. Not too bad. Well, my sun spirit just hit level 10, so I guess before we loot, I think it's uh, about time to do this, so we get some luck. So let's just disassemble this for some experience. Disassemble a weapon when I'm doing a Raxo, let's do that. All the way to 48, so we've got four levels for that, not too bad. Let's loot it, and then I'll go buy a new sun spear. And then we can do the third kill, which is going to give us 98 defense. So let's see what we can get. Oh, another pheromone. I don't know what I'm going to use this for. Oh yeah, you can reset the enrage. That's that's cool. That's awesome. I have two pheromones now. Also four overload flasks. That's actually not too bad. I'm running quite low on overload, so bang that. Unfortunately, I couldn't show you guys when I got 98 defense because it was mid-fight. It was actually when you transitioned to the last phase of the boss. But there you go, 98 defense. And I think I got a combat level for that. I think I was 135, but can't really remember. But I guess the last levels are from prayer summoning... Maybe one from defense, probably not because I just got one, but anyways, let's loot the third one and get two onyxes. Dude, I have so many onyxes. Actually, all the money that I get from those are brilliant. Now, there's a reason to why my farming has been 67 for a while now. It's because I don't have any usage left. I used all the ones that I had, so I thought I'm going to train some invention at the same time as getting more usage for my farming, obviously. So, I thought I'm going to be killing Ganodermic Beasts, they have a really good drop rate of usage as well as I do have two augmented Staff of Light and it's a good way of, you know, leveling those up, as well as I can level up my Sun Spear, so I think I'm going to be staying at Ganodermic Beast until I have all of these three weapons at level 10, I'm going to disassemble them all and let's see how many usage I've collected by that time, so let's do it. I really did underestimate how long this was going to take. I thought it would be like maybe four hours for all of the three ones. It's been five and a half hour and I've completed two of the weapons. So I'm going to just end it here, but I got 15 usage, so that is actually not that bad. Let's unequip this uh, augmented staff of light and let's uh, disassemble that. And we're currently 48 and there we go. Wait, we only got 49,000 for that. Uh, 499,000. All right. I don't know what the hell. Uh, but anyways, it was level 10. You can see that in the chat. Look at that. Level 10 Staff of Light. Anyways, let's do this one. And this one gives the full experience. I don't know what the hell was going wrong with that. But anyways, let's disassemble this one as well. So yeah, we go. 53 Invention. That is not bad. And uh, I've hit 50 plus in all skills now. And I have 2,268 total. That is actually very good in my opinion. Oh, and I also got 22,000 of these Ganodermy Flakes. I will be making a bunch of these leggings. I think I'll make like one more and I'm going to disassemble them all with invention. But then I will also only make one body because apparently the body is just way too expensive to, you know, disassemble it. So I'm just going to be siphoning it. And that was a tip from Underfledge from my friend chat. So shout out to you, man. Thank you so much. Uh, so yeah, I have a lot of these Ganodermic leggings now as well as 6,000 flakes in the bank. I'm actually kind of starting to get a bit worried that I might not even get a leg piece before 100 kills. I need 22 more kills to get to that state, but let's see what we get for this one. And we get, come on, that's like the worst shit you can get. Please just give me anything but Dwarfweed Seeds. That drop is like the worst to get. Please give me something else. Oh, Onyxes, alright. I have like 8 Onyxes in my bank now. So I have like 8.8 .8 Alk, 8.8 uh, .8 mil Alk in the bank. That is really, really good for my summoning gains. Kill number 80, let's see what we get for this one, and we get some room play bodies, alchemy, 20 blue charms, not bad. 
I just asked some of the onyxes that I had in my bank and I'm going to be buying, I, I don't know if I should buy this many, I'll probably buy like 30 packs or something, and I will be finishing up the charms I have, which is like 2000 crimson and 1000 blue charms. Now I do know I should be doing it in Priftinas with the 20% boost, but the thing is, I can't really be on at all times, and I can't really wait all the time for that thing to come up, just to finish my charms. I do so much PVMing anyways that I do get a bunch of charms, and getting to 96 is most likely not going to be an issue. At the 20%, sure it helps out a bit, but if I can only do it one hour in very certain times, that's not something I want to go for. So I will be finishing up all, the char all these charms, and let's see what level I get to from 88. Now I'm going to be straight up honest with you guys, you guys have been saying you should do more raids because having the abilities from the raids is absolutely amazing. Now I do agree with that, they are absolutely amazing, but I hate doing raids, like I just don't like group content on RS, like on other games I really love it, but on RS I just don't really like it. But I just got asked to join a raid and I was like, you know what, I'll just do Beastmaster and that is going to be pretty good, you know, if I do get something cool then I get something cool, if I don't get anything then and that's fine as well. So let's see what I get from this kill, if we can manage to kill it. Well, the boss is about to die, so we're going to loot it in just a second, but I did actually hit 90 summoning. I have like 100 crimsons left in the bank, but the supplies I had for them was like kind of empty. So I just decided to stop at that, but that is a kill completed and apparently a new record. I think I died last time that I did it. I've done it twice on my Ion Man, that is a 730 kill. So I guess that's not too bad, and thanks to everyone on this list right here, I'm just going to go through it real slow for you guys, and wait, come on, this is like bugged. Alright, oh well, there you go, that's all the people. Let's loot and see what we get, and we get a bunch of stuff, and uh, I mean, I have like 2000 techie now in the bank, maybe I can get something from that in the future, these are like reputation tokens I think. I don't know about these kind of things, but yeah, that's not too bad, I'm going to bank that and let's do something else. Like seriously, what the hell, I wanna say something, I have been watching other RS YouTubers lately, like RS3 YouTubers, right, and since the skilling pets has been coming out, every single one of them gets one, like, I just watch them and I'm like, dude, please. Can I just yeah, get a skilling pet? Like, I wish I had one from fire making from, from when I was doing it from 80 to 90. Obviously, I shouldn't be getting skilling pets that easily, but come on, I've seen some people on the YouTube Zerinos get skilling pets on like 60 farming or shit like that. And I've seen it's, it's ridiculous, and I just can't get any skilling pets. But it's going to come. I, I hope I will get one before I get max at least, you know. Sometimes I'm lucky, sometimes I'm not. In this case, it's, I, I'm probably not going to be lucky. But anyways, this is going to be a hard clue scroll from a lava strike worm task. I have 33 left to do, and you know, let's get something good. And that's awkward, because now I have to do another uh, intro of me loot. If you happen to hear some snoring in the background, it's because my dog is actually in my room right now, and she's sleeping tightly. So let's see what we get for this reward, and please do not make me make another loot intro. Alright, there we go. That's good enough. Alright, so an H2 body, I already have it. Enchanted hat, I already have it. So, nothing really, but the next one we can reroll, so that's not too bad. Now, this clue we can reroll, so let's see what we get and reroll that probably. Yes, we do get something shit, so we're going to reroll that. Two of these black deer chaps, you know what the, this number is. Anyways, let's reroll and confirm into. Uh, oh, it's been a long time since I've seen fire lighters. I'm not even going to be upset this time. But, um, yeah, that's, that's not too bad. It has been about half a year since I advertised about my friend chat, and the thing is, I think we peaked way back in the days when I made like a video a day or something at 50 people in the friend chat, like 55 people, which was absolutely amazing to see. And since then, it's been like steadily going down a bit and then going up sometimes, you know. We're usually like 20 people, 25 people during the day in the friend chat. Look at this, during the night, it's not that many people, it's currently 3 in the night, so obviously that's why there's not that many people online. I, I don't know if it's a Saturday or a Sunday, I don't keep track of days that much, uh, so I don't know if people have school tomorrow or anything like that. But I just wanted to give a quick shout out to the French chat, you know, I just see so many good things happen in the French chat daily, I see people getting help, I see people just having fun and stuff like that, and it is the best way to get into contact with me, and I try to answer people as much as possible in the French chat, and I just love talking to people people overall anyways in the game uh, that's the thing I like most about the game overall so just giving a shout out to the friend chat again it's been half a year since last time I've, I don't think I feel bad for doing it again uh, the friend chat is a lonesome so also the if you don't know how to spell that or anything you can just go to the description it will be in the top of it it will say like friend chat is a lonesome so yeah let's continue with the video 
I'm going to be doing some QBD because I got a Black Dragon task. I'm not going to show you guys every single loot because that's just way too much as I'm going to be doing quite a lot of kills. But I'll just show you guys the first one just to say this is what I'm going to be doing for a bit. You know, nothing too interesting, but we get a rare drop table loot, which is mahogany planks. You know, I should probably use the planks that I do have overall and all the mahogany logs. I have like 20,000 mahogany logs in the bank as well for some construction, but the money is the problem, I guess. You know, talking about needing more money, well, there we go. I can't actually remember what pieces I need to make my royal crossbow work again, but maybe this is one of them, so I'm going to bank that and I'll look next time I bank. It was the only one I had. God damn it. I'm looking at this loot and I can't really figure out what the hell happened here. Every single time you're supposed to get a rare drop, you're supposed to get two of them on QBD. This is one. Or is it like two dragonstone rare drops? But why is it five then? You can't get two and a half dragonstones from a rare drop. If you guys know what the hell happened here, then please let me know in the comments. After using all of these three effigy lamps on farming, I'm going to be hitting 68 and with that we're actually going to conclude the video here. In the start of the next video I'm going to be finishing up that slayer assignment, 48 more black dragons, well QBD kills which hopefully will give me some royal crossbow parts which is really what I need from that boss. Actually the super restores that you get from that fight is absolutely amazing as well because I'm running really short on them and I do need more prayer renewals, not prayer renewals, prayer restores for uh, doing a and stuff like that so anyways that is going to be 68 farming and all those u seeds that i got from the ganodermic base i have planted into pots and i did plant like new u trees i'm just waiting for them to grow right now so uh, did we unlock anything palm trees oh yeah i have a lot of palm tree seeds in the bank so we can actually start doing that as well so that's not bad anyways this is going to be the end of the video as i said i hope you guys did enjoy this video and i'll see you in the next one take care guys